Good morning. There is a very positive thing about what's going on. And that is that you learn about people around you. And it's very easy to get new friends because when people are awake, you meet them, you talk to them, you connect instantly. Yeah. And you sort of trust them, you see. I will tell you about this old couple that I know. A very gentle, nice couple. And they told me this story. Every year they go to a Christmas party. And they always look forward to it. It's a big thing. Lots of people coming. It's an organized thing, you see. Now this year they got a letter from the organizers saying that everybody coming to the party had to be double veed. Right? And they wrote a letter back. And I got to see the response. The letter, yeah. And they basically told the organizers that uh, they were idiots. Yeah. I didn't expect this from this very nice, gentle old couple. It was great. Yeah. But uh, it made me think, you know, uh, there are steps. When people wake up, there are steps they take. It's like a ladder, see? They go from being totally obedient, silent, you know, asleep, basically, and then they wake up and they move up this ladder. And there's basically four steps that I observed. There may be more, but these are the four steps. I wrote them down. Okay, the first step is this. The person says this. This doesn't make sense. That's right. So this guy's eyes have been closed. He starts to open them. He's looking around and he says, this doesn't make sense. That's the first step. Yeah. Then the next step is this one. Uh, the person says, I will not accept this. And I actually disagree with it. You see? This is more active. And maybe they will openly ask questions about what's going on. See? Right, and that is the third step. And I think that's where my friends are. You know, this old couple that I was talking about. I think they are at this step. They say, you know, I don't care if I lose friends. I don't care what people think. I just have to speak up about this. This is totally unacceptable. That's the third step. Yeah, And of course you see a lot of people protesting, they are publishing their stories on social media. You see? Very active step. And then it's the fourth step. And that is the bastard. Yeah. <laughs> There may be more steps, I don't know. But I know what it is like to be a bastard, you see. <laughs> yeah. You're just being rude, you see. <laughs> yeah. Annoying. You can scream at people, you see. Right. Now, this is great. I love this old couple what, for what they did. Now, some people, I think, are waiting for the awakening. And they don't realize that it's happening right now. I don't know what they are waiting for. Uh, maybe they are waiting for media to apologize or something. Or the establishment to change. Of course, this is not going to happen. No. They are the ones doing it. See? So it's not going to happen. No, it's happening right now. You see all these people now protesting and talking on social media. Yeah, they, are the, they are on the third step. And you have to realize that there's a lot more people on the first and the second step. Yeah. There's so many now. Millions and millions of people are saying, you know, this doesn't make sense. Yeah. All right, I'll do the list. Because we are on YouTube with this, with this video, 
I do the list. So these people are not accepted. See, they talk about the vaccine and they disagree with the health authorities. So that's why I'm warning you about them. So the idea is that you don't check for these names. Even if this guy is a governor, you know, you don't listen to him anyway. Now this guy is dead. Yeah, he wrote something down before he died. This is a doctor, former tennis star, Australia. Another doctor, another one, a lot of doctors. And the last one is also a doctor, yeah. Now this lady is not very well known. Uh, she's a doctor in Houston, right? Uh, she did something very, very bad. She started to treat uh, unvaccinated people because she thought they were discriminated on. And then she was suspended from her employer, a big hospital in Houston, and then she resigned. So don't listen to her story. Right. Be good.